Welcome back everybody to collector's box number two for my Coria. The first box was pretty good. I got a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of masterpieces, a lot of mythics, and uh, a ton of triumphs. <laughs> but I may not like them, but they are worth some money. So each one of those added up. I think I got seven triumphs, and they're, they're all ranging you know, around that. Uh, they start around six to eight for the, for the regular extended art ones I was getting. And then I got some foil ones too, so yeah. There was definitely some value in that first box. So we're going to open box number two here and see if we get equally as good a value or not. We'll find out in a second. So, I know what you guys have been pulling out of this set. What do you think about everything that's going on right now? Looks like uh, stores are starting to open back up a little bit. And a uh, uh, more smaller capacity than they would like to obviously but they are starting to get open so that's the big thing so hopefully there's some normalcy coming in the near future because i would love to get back to playing friday night magic paper magic that would be very very nice all right so if you watched my other video i kind of gave a rundown but i'll do it again in this one just in case you didn't see the other one so basically it's like two packs within a pack kind of kind of deal with these collector packs the first half of the pack is uh, your normal kind of collector's packs with your commander card and this ancillary slot here. Uh, there was no Planeswalker decks in this set, so all the ancillary cards are commander cards. Uh, this one happens to be a rare, the Avenging Hunt Bonder. Oh, and then we got a Cheville. Our uh, extended art is next, and then we're going to get our foil, which is a Cub Warden. Eh, not off to as good a start as that last box, but hopefully it'll pick up. And then we've got our secondary kind of pack in the pack here. And this is uh, your Godzilla arts or the comic book kind of art kind of alternates in here. You'll get two rare, uh, two uncommons or commons in the front here. And then you'll get an extended art just like the regular pack. This one happens to be a Triome, speak of the devil. <laughs> but it is the more valuable one, the, the Zagoth. And then we get our Godzilla card, which happens to be a mythic right off the bat, right out of the gate here. And then we get a foil on the very back. Uh, so I guess we'll put our mythics there. See how many mythics we get. And we'll leave this for masterpieces. And I'll put the foils just off to the side because nobody cares about those. They're usually commons or uncommons. Sometimes you do find a rare or mythic in that last slot though. So we'll keep an eye out for that. All right, moving on. Got a mind leecher as our commander rare. We got a Yurion, nice. Yurion Sky Nomad is our uh, extended uh, non-foil. And an Ultimatum is our foil. So yeah, still not off to a great start like the last box. The last box was pretty epic. Oh, but we got a Vivian for our uh, extended art in here. So our second Mythic. And then a Baby Godzilla, and he's not even foil. That's, that's the biggest thing that I have a gripe with about these boxes, is that secondary kind of pack in there. This one should always be foil, and I and I don't like the fact they put uncommons in there. I think they should all be rares or mythics in that particular slot. And I have really no place to put this because, you know, it's, yeah, it doesn't have a home. It's homeless. Uh, well, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to put it off to the side because I don't want to get it mixed up with the, uh, the regular ones. Well, I guess, well, I don't know. It's kind of a masterpiece. There's so many variants. God. All right. Rant over. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> That's the one thing about this Icaria set. You gotta have like 6,000 stacks when you open a box because <laughs> there's so many different variants of everything. All right. There are Commander Cards of Flawless Maneuver. We got a Titan's Nest, and I do see a masterpiece. It is an Extinction Event. Not the greatest masterpiece, but it is a masterpiece, and it's a decent one. So there we go, first masterpiece of the box. And then we got our two alternates. Oh, looks like we might have two in the same box here. A Snapdex, got a nice uh, Snapdex uh, Mythic there. He's a good card. <laughs> Every single box. And this is a foil one, so odds are we're gonna get a non-foil in here too. <laughs> but there's your second masterpiece, everybody. It's an uncommon, um, nope, that's foil, uncommon, Space Godzilla. <laughs> the one that I, I I told everybody when they were paying $300 for that card. I'm like, don't buy it. Don't waste your money. It's going to plummet. There's so many of those. It's an uncommon. Every box I've seen opened has one in it. Ooh, a twinning staff. That's a nice one. 
that's uh, one of the commander cards I was actually hoping to get extras of because this this one's fun. Um, Fork was one of my favorite cards back in the early days, back in the revised days when I started. I loved Fork because um, you know lightning bolt Fork, <laughs> six damage. Um, <laughs> so anything that copies spells like that, I love. So so this twinning staff is great for me. I just love Forks. All right. And Emergent Ultimatum is our extended, and a Lava Brink Venture is our foil. It's not worth a whole lot, but I like him. I think he's a cool card. I mean, protection from either odd or even. That's, that's awesome. And then we got our two alternates and a Dirge Bat, of course. Every single box has one of these. Even the standard boxes. Every standard box I've opened has an extended art Dirge Bat. I don't get it. Oh, and another one. A King Caesar. Nice. This is Snapdax's uh, Alter Ego, I guess you could say. If you look, eh, they're actually the exact same card. If you look under here, Snapdax Apex of the Hunt. So it's actually the exact same card, just different art. So, yeah, kind of weird. And then our Foil Cloud Piercer in the back. So we're up to four, uh, four Mythics. Two of them are the same, but different. They're the same, but they're nothing alike. But they're the same. Same but different. Same difference. All right. Moving on. And a uh, Cryptic Trilobite. There we go. The first one out of those I've seen. Of course, there's only the second box of these I've opened. But I didn't get any of the, the Commander artifacts in the other box, I don't believe. I think everything was colored. So, Cryptic Trilobite. This guy looks like he might be fun. Um, yeah. We'll have to see what happens with him. Oh, Yadaro. That guy is fun. I do like Yadaro. Um, I built a cycling deck, but I was... Kind of using, uh, I was trying to use Lurus with my, uh, as the companion with it, so I kept everything under two. And I'm kind of playing around with it, but if it doesn't work, I'm gonna go a full cycling deck with four of these in there, because, uh, this guy's awesome. If you cycle him four times, he pops onto the battlefield as an 8 8 with trample and haste that you literally pay one red and one colorless for. Times four, but still. Oh, and then a Brogos. All right, nice. A foil Brogos. So another mythic, and it's a foil one. And Brokos is good. Uh, he's a fun card. And I will not call him Brokos because then I just think of A-Team. B.A. Brokos. I paid a fool. So, yeah. I can't call him Brokos because I'll start doing that way too much in the videos. I've already been doing it. See? I just did it. I just did it again. I paid a fool. All right. <laughs> uh, Semi-Triome. Because, yeah, I got at least 20 Triomes. Oh, and then our next masterpiece is a Destroyer. And I'm going to call him a Destroya, not a Destoroya, because I don't want to sound like a five-year-old phonetically trying to pronounce Destroya. So, there we have it. Good one. Good masterpiece. Uh, but, yeah, so far we're, we're out of the gate a lot less masterpieces than we had in the first box. The first box we had a crazy amount of masterpieces. This one we've only got three so far, and one of them is the Uncommon, the Space Godzilla. Oh, and our Commander card's an Uncommon. Weak. That's another thing. I think the Commander card should be rare or mythic. Um, Genesis Ultimatum, of course. Could just be those uh, Theros Beyond Death Collectors boxes. Just have you completely spoiled because I opened so many of those on the channel. I think I opened like five of those. <laughs> There's just mythics everywhere. All right. And a Corchwood Crasher is our foil. This guy can be pretty brutal in the right deck. He's uh, <laughs> He can be beastly. Yeah, of course, he is a dinosaur beast, so I guess that makes sense. Wah, wah. All right, Jim Razor is our extended, and that Godzilla Primeval Champion that's not even foil. I think I think that slash should be foil, especially when they're putting uncommons in there. That's kind of weak. All right, Trium, or uh, Jim Razor, and uh, I'll put this guy over with the baby Godzilla that was an uncommon with not foil, non foil. All right, so we're halfway through the box. Uh, some decent hits. We got the Broco so far. We got uh, a couple masterpieces. Um. But only one masterpiece in the regular slot, and then uh, two of the Godzillas that are masterpieces, which are a little more likely to get masterpieces in the Godzilla slot, I've noticed. All right, Frontier Warmonger is our rare. Another Cheville. All right, we're doing the same duplication we did in the last box here. I got uh, three of the extended art cards where they were duplicates. Uh, but that is a mythic. I totally didn't even realize that the first time around. So, Cheville is a good good one to get duplicates of if you're going to get duplicates. And then we got a foil classification. I've been having fun with the classification deck that, uh, that I found from one of the other popular YouTubers there. Joey Moss, you know. Uh, I changed it up a little bit, though. I took out the blue. Um, all right. Another trial, of course. 
And another uncommon non-foil. Wow, weak. Three of them in the same box. Weak. That's just, like, bad. Ugh. All right, moving on. Let's see if we get something spicy here towards the end, because uh, this box is not as good as the last box. Daring Fiend Bonder has our commander card. Oh, a Garuda. Nice. I love Garuda. He's so much fun. And a Shark Typhoon. Nice. We didn't get that in the other box. So, full Shark Typhoon. That thing is crazy. This gets out on the board, and shenanigans get wild. All right. And then our two uh, alternates, and then our our next triome, because, you know, we got to get 10 in a box. A non-foil destroyer, and then a Dreamtail Heron. Wow, we're getting... Uh, we're getting a lot of non-foils in that Godzilla slot today in this box. Kind of weird. I think overall it's still, I think we still made our money back already and we still got, what, four packs to go? But uh, not as much as the other box. The other box we kind of doubled our money on. <laughs> so, oh, a Mythic. Uh, Halden Avid Arcanist. This is the uh, Paco's partner. Paco! Uh, my extra girlfriend's dad had a little, one of those little min pin dogs, mini, miniature pincher dogs named Paco, so that kind of makes me giggle. All right, Titan's Nest and a Titan's Nest. Uh, because, you know, when you have a Titan's Nest, the thing you need right after a Titan's Nest is a Titan's Nest, uh, especially when that's your third Titan's Nest in the box. Because, you know, nothing says loving like three Titan's Nests in your oven. Um, yeah, How about that. Titans. Anybody need a Titans Nest? I happen to have a few extras. I don't think I need that many. I don't think I need one. And a Luca. Copper Coat Outcast. And I think we finally got a foil and it's uncommon. Oh, but then we got a Nethroy in the back. Ooh, sneaking up on me. I didn't even see him coming. <laughs> I was all disappointed about the uncommon foil and then boom! Mythic foil. Masterpiece right in the back. Alright. So, that was good. That was a good pack. We ended up getting two Mythics in there. One's a, a Luca. So now we got both of the... Uh, the full art planeswalkers, that's nice. And we got an uncommon masterpiece, which I, I still don't know what to make of that. Um, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> we got it, whether we wanted it or not. Hey, back to door. All right, the one, I love the packaging of these collector's boxes because they're so small and they take up so little space. It's nice to, to not have to have some big old box sitting around collecting dust like I do with the booster box cases, but they're kind of hard to stuff the packs back into while you're opening them, so I end up with packs all over the table. I mean, I just got, like, like packs or whatever, so. <laughs> That's the downside of the small boxes. All right. Oh, another Mythic uh, in our Commander slot. We got the Trin, Champion of Freedom. It's partners with Silvar. And another Full Art Ultimatum. And, oh, we got a Masterpiece, and it's a good one, finally. A Gigantha, the Wellspring. This card's seeing some play. We'll see if uh, that holds up or not, but hey, decent masterpiece. And then we got a Sea Dasher Octopus for our extended, finally not a Triome. And I told you, see, I told you, we got the foil. I knew there'd be an un uh, a, a non-foil in here too, because I've never seen a box without an, a non-foil one. Uh, maybe once once or twice, I think. I think I've seen one or two boxes with, with non-foil Space Godzillas. Um, or with no Space Godzillas at all, but... I mean, I've watched literally a hundred of these collector's boxes being opened, and I've only seen one or two without any Space Godzilla's in them. So, yep. I knew it. Called that one. A uh, Diddly Rollick. Is our commander card. A Labyrinth Raptor for our extended art. He's kind of fun. And then a Friendland Philidar, the, the, the one that everybody's disappointed to see. And I'm disappointed to see it, too. And a Cub Warden for our extended and a Dorrit non-foil, uncommon, extended. Yeah, not a good pack. That was not a good pack at all. Terrible pack. Uh, the Labyrinth Raptor was the best card in the pack. All right, hopefully we get something spicy in the clothes. I see an extended art, but it's probably an uncommon. I think that might be a, I think that might be another dirge bat. God, these dirge bats are falling out of everywhere. Nobody wants them, but they're everywhere. Uh, Aeon Frolicker. Eon, Aeon, Eon, I guess. Aeon would be A-E-O-N. Okay. Genesis Ultimatum and a Mythos as our masterpiece. So I got, what did I get? Three Mythos masterpieces in the last box. I got the red one, the blue one, and the white one. They just love putting these as masterpieces. Let me tell you. All right. And our two. Oh, then we got a Brogo sneaking up on us. 
pity the fool. Okay, I won't do that again. I swear. I pity the fool. I lied. I'm a liar. I can't help it. Sorry. <laughs> and the King Caesar. Okay. That's even worse than the Dirge Bat. At least the Dirge Bats are rare. This is uncommon. Uh, it's a good card. The Huntmaster Lager. Great card. And that's all this is. It's just Huntmaster Lager with really neat art. And yeah, still an uncommon. But it is one of the prettiest uh, masterpieces. Just, uh, it's an uncommon. And then, uh, uncommon. Insatiable hemoph hemophage. So, all right. So we got a lot of mythics. Did I miss any myth? Oh, yeah, I think there's a there's a couple of mythics in the in in here too. So, um, we'll look at our masterpieces first, I guess. Here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight masterpieces, but three of them are uncommons. So do they count? I mean, I suppose he counts, but yeah. So. In our regular slot, we did end up with three masterpieces, so that's pretty cool. We did get the Extinction Event, the the Gigantha, and the Mythos. So we did get three masterpieces in the regular slots, and then uh, two rare or mythic masterpieces in the Godzilla slot. We got the Destroya and the Nethroi. Um, so, and he's he's a good card. So put him over there so we can count the mythics now. And we did get the the Space Godzilla <laughs> times two. Duplicate uh, Space Godzilla's because, you know, like I said, uh, if you get a foil, you're probably going to get the, the non-foil. Uh, I don't think I've seen too many boxes where you got the foil but didn't get the non-foil. And I think I've only seen two boxes out of the hundreds I've seen opened that didn't have uh, either. So, there's that. And then we got our Perfect Pet and our King Caesar. Eh, nothing exciting there. But a Mythics came through on this one pretty well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Mythics. Jeez, it's like a, uh, <laughs> it's totally like, is is that, that's literally a Mythic a pack. It's like, uh, like the Theros boxes. That's like a really, really good Theros box. <laughs> 12 Mythics and 12 packs. That's, uh, yeah, can't complain about that. And some of them are actually good. <laughs> uh, the Nithroi is good. The Brokos is good. Did we get two Brokos? I think we got two Brokos. Yeah, we got the regular art and the extended art. The regular one's foil. The extended is non foil, which is kind of weird. Um, oh, we got two of the Nithroi's. Technically, these are both the same card, just with different art and different names, because I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I, I, I have no idea. Yeah, I like this art a lot better. This art just looks like an old rabid dog <laughs> with, like, extra limbs. So, yeah, I definitely like this art much, much better. That one, that one, that guy looks epic, you know? This guy looks, like, gangly. Epic? Gangly. Anyway. <laughs> the Brogos, of course, uh, it's hard to tell. This one kind of looks doofy, and he looks like a giant broccoli, so... <laughs> but we did get our both our planeswalkers. We got the the Luca and the Vivian, so that's nice. Um, and we got a couple of commander cards, mythics, and two Shavils. He's uh, he's been seeing a lot of play. He's fun. And then uh, we got two Snapdaxes that are different but the same, but different but the same. Yeah, weird how that happens. Okay, so <laughs> moving on. <laughs> and then our rare slot we had. Pretty weak rares. The Shark Typhoon's nice. I like the classification, but I don't think it's going to be worth a whole lot because you really just got to build a deck around that. And the Corsair Crasher's nice. The Lava Brink I like, and then uh, but he's not worth a lot. And then the ultimate, another Ultimatum, and the Cub Warden. Cub Warden's all right, but he's one of the weaker mutates because he is a two white, uh, and he's just uh, the ability is not huge. It's good, but it's not huge. All right, and then our extendeds, we got a lot of ultimatums. Ultimatum, Raptor, another ultimatum. Two Titans Nests, the Garuda's nice, another ultimatum. The Yadaro's cool, and another ultimatum. <laughs> and the Orion's cool. So we got we got uh, two of the uh, companions, which are really nice. Uh, Garuda's one of my favorites. <laughs> I love the Garuda. And uh, Yadaro I love, but I don't think he's worth a ton yet. But yeah, we got one, two, three, four ultimatums. Oh, two duplicates. Okay. So this is just like the last box. So we got one, two, three duplicate extended arts, just like the last box, except this one, they're all gold. We got two Genesis ultimatums, two Emergent ultimatums, and two Titans nests. So apparently, both of these collector boxes had 
three duplicates in the extended section. So that's kind of weird. Our commander cards. We did pretty good on the commander cards because we got the trilobite and the twinning staff. Uh, I'm not sure about some of the others. I haven't really looked into the commander cards a whole lot yet, so I'm not sure what the value is in there. But I'll take a look after the video is over and we'll add them up. So <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys thought. Um, let me know what you what you think of these uh, collector's boxes. If you think they're they're getting better as they go. <laughs> Uh, how many people lost a ton of money on this stupid card? It's not even really that good. I mean, it's better to cycle it than to play it, I think. Eh, I don't know. It's all right. 8-8 eight, eight with death, death dust, but it costs you 8. The cycling's a little better. Anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, the good old Space Godzilla duplicate. And I got one in the last box, too, because, you know, they're in every box. Oh, here it's on the top of this thing. Yep, so... And I got one as a box topper in the fir the very first Tycoria box I opened as well. I got a foil one as the box topper. So they're very common. Hopefully not too many of you got hosed on that by buying those for ridiculous prices when everybody was freaking out about it. So anyways, um, oh, uh, we got to look at the, the rare extended arts here. So we got Cub Warden, Sea Dash Octopus, one, two, Triomes, Gem Razor, three, Triomes, Surge Bat, four, Triomes. So four triumphs, which is a lot less than we got in the last box. I think we got seven triumphs in the last box. At least I didn't get any in, in these slots this time. So, um, which, you know, they are still worth something. So I guess I shouldn't be complaining when I get them. <laughs> but anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of this and uh, what you've been pulling out of your, uh, your boxes here and how many of these you've gotten. And uh, let's start a conversation in there. And don't forget to write, rest in peace, Luris, in the comments. Poor Luris. Didn't even last three days after the set was released, and he's probably one of the best cards in the set. But anyways, uh, hopefully you'll check out a couple other videos while you're here, and I really appreciate you watching. I appreciate your time and every uh, everything you do with the comments and the likes and the subscriptions. It means the world to me, so thank you so much, guys. You guys have a great night. Bye.